Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another episode of Disaster Diary. So we're back with the chaos. Thank you guys so much for the love and support on episode one. I truly do appreciate it. So right now it is 2 p.m. and actually Huxton just got back from work and then of course Araya is on the treadmill. So as I mentioned in the first episode, she does really like fitness like her dad. She's starting to really, you know, just become drawn to it. So she's level four and oftentimes she just like gets on the treadmill out of nowhere. And yeah, so I feel like she will follow in her dad's footsteps in that sense, but I feel like that is the only only thing that she will take after him with like to be honest <laughs> so jiraiya is downstairs and his little friend was here oh she's over here okay so we're gonna have them continue getting to know each other so you guys you're all living for the drama and i'm literally so excited to see how everything kind of like pans out i i just can't wait <laughs> like as like i feel so bad for abelie which she's still at work right now and she's feeling very tense she's feeling a bit neurotic these sims show extremely higher sensitivity towards sadness anger and stress and she's also overwhelmed i feel so bad for her like i do truly feel so so bad for her but yeah so she obviously doesn't know that esme is pregnant like that's the main thing here Ooh. oh okay we're having a little get together before prom want to join I mean, she wasn't gonna go to prom. Now I'm like, should she go alone? She wasn't asked and yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel like she's not the biggest prom type of girl, but I do think she might wanna go on her own and just kinda like hang out, eat some food and then like go to the after party. I feel like she'll go just so she can go to the after party. But anyways, let's go ahead. We can choose Sims to come actually. And cause she does have other friends. So I'm wondering if we just like invite all of them. I think that would only makes sense so i'm gonna do that okay so i guess we're going to this little thing before prom so while we wait for that let's do our notification shout out and this one goes to Liv. oh my god thank you so freaking much like seriously i'm so glad you found me again too like that just makes me so happy that you were watching runaway teen pregnancy which now started that was like over two years ago i started that lp and you found my channel again that just makes me so happy so i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope you are having an amazing day and yeah thank you so much for your comments so let's go ahead and and get into this. They're all in their party wear, I think. Or no, wait, it's hot here. I think she's just in her hot weather. I was like so confused for a minute. Oh, the weather's so nice here though. Like, yes. Okay. Like that's a nice change because it was really cloudy where we were. Um, but yeah, this is nice. So everyone is just heading in. I feel like, you know, we're all just going to hang out here, I guess, because I don't really, I don't know. I feel like she's like, ah, this is kind of lame. Like she wanted like the party scene. Aw, aw. <laughs> so cute i love this outfit for her i feel like it's so her oh you guys we have to go back into create a sim and i have to like explain something really fast uh i figured out what was going on with their faces do you guys remember in the first episode i was saying like something happened when i transferred the sims from my other desktop to this desktop that i record on to because i created them over there well it turns out that wasn't the problem at all it had nothing to do with me transferring them i wasn't missing any like presets or anything that's not even what happened so i'll explain that when we get into create a sim just so i can like re show you guys their features really quickly i'm not gonna i'm just quickly gonna like show you guys their faces like how this is how they were supposed to look from the start and i tried to like fix them a little bit last episode literally reset again and i'll explain why so if you guys have ever had that problem then um i'll i'll show you what was happening but anyways look at this Araya has known savannah for a while now but somehow things are different now um Araya has always thought that she would recognize her soulmate from the moment she met her but it turns out that love was right under Araya's nose all along oh so yeah this is the girl that oh my god i think it went up even more they i guess they both have like massive crushes on each other wait oh my god i kind of want to give her like a cute little makeover i love her vibe but just like cc if i a little bit oh my god because maybe this will be like her first girlfriend or something and then here's her bestie like just friends like literally they're so close i can't see them ever being anything more you know um she can just go mess around with them though which okay talk about healthy living sure oh savannah has the loyal trait wait uh, wait what i'm flattered but i'm not interested in that type of relationship with you but i would be happy if you would like to be friends you're fucking kidding me what do you guys think about that should we change her sexual orientation or do we just like say like okay like not meant to be wait this bedroom is fucking adorable are you kidding me oh <gasps> 
Oh, it's so cute. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, what save file am I in again, you guys? It's like, it's the save file that I recently covered in a video. Not like recently, but it was like my most, well, kind of recently, but it was my most recent save file video. Okay, I figured it out. It's the Unfadia save file, and that's like where this house is from and everything. So, and same with all the Sims. So, if you guys like the look of the save file, the Unfadia save file is where to go. So, I don't know, like everyone just left. I'm gonna have her leave too then. And do we wanna hang out here? I feel like it could be kind of fun. Like there is this boba shop I could see her going to to grab some boba. I think that would be fun. I do want to make sure, well, I want to make sure we kind of like hang out with everyone. Like we're going to have times when we're with Jiraiya, times when we're with Avery Huxton. You know what I mean? I want to give everyone like an equal amount of attention. I'll try to anyways. And I feel like Araya is really struggling right now. And I definitely feel like she'd be wanting to get out of the house. So I feel like that's an important part of the storyline right now, for real. Okay, so let's go ahead. Do you want to like change into your everyday wear, dude? I mean, it's still hot though. Okay, fine. You can wear that. <laughs> let's go ahead and... Oh my god, spread a nasty rumor. No. Intras. We're gonna discuss intras. And then... Oh, look how cute this boba shop is. Stop. <gasps> okay, this is by far my favorite I've seen. I've seen a lot of different boba shops in different save files and this one wins hands down. <gasps> this is like the cutest thing ever. Let's order a drink and let's do, you guys, like how dare they not put my favorite flavor of boba in the Sims? Like how dare they? <laughs> If you're a fan of boba and your favorite flavor is not here, are, are you angry about it? Not to mention, I feel like it's a classic. Obviously, taro is a classic too, and so good, so good, right? But my top favorite is the brown sugar oat milk. I mean, you don't have to get it with oat milk, but it just tastes so good like that. Like the boba place by me does brown sugar oat milk. Oh my god, it's so good. And yeah, they really like, like this is so limited, you know? She's gonna have to get the taro though. I feel like she's a taro girly. Yeah. We'll go ahead and get that for her. Oh, why are they so cute? Like the bestest of friends. Also, you guys can probably already see like she looks quite a bit different. This is how she looked when I originally created her. So I hope you guys like her because <laughs> how you guys saw her in Kratos in the first episode. And you know what's so fucking funny? Also, when I was filming the little intro, like the machinima thing in the first episode, their faces were already glitched. But at that point, I didn't even notice the whole time. And yeah, so again, I keep like mentioning that before I should, but like, I, guys, I was stressed out of my mind. I know that seems stupid, but like, obviously this is a new Let's Play of mine. And I was like, I wanted to get another episode up like the day after. And then I was like, what the hell is going on? So I was like trying to figure everything out and it took me a while. Look at her enjoying her boba. When you have a vision in your head and you make sims a certain way and then the game fucks it up. Like, yeah, it was really bothering me. <laughs> it was really, really bothering me. Oh, maybe she'll make a new friend. So, oh, okay, bye. Bye. She's cute. They're kind of like friends already. Wait, who is this sim? I don't even know. Oh, okay. We got to go to prom. She barely drank her boba. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> So she's literally just gonna go there for like the food, like straight up. She might like break it down on the dance floor. We'll see. Dude, I love her FOMO wear. I feel like it's so her. Like it literally, her, her personality is this. I just love. Okay, so as far as activities, we're not gonna participate very much. I don't even know if she will vote. Maybe? Okay, maybe we'll vote for prom jester. And let's do, let's do this, dude. Yep. <laughs> That's who we're gonna vote for. I feel like this prom is kind of a mess, like no one's dancing. I don't really know what's going on, but we're here for the food. We're here for the food. She's hungry. This looks good. We're going to grab a serving of that. And then also, of course, she wants some fruit punch. Like, yes, she looks absolutely stunning. So I feel kind of bad that she doesn't have a date, but I just really don't feel like it's her scene anyways. And what kind of party is this? Like, they're all just sitting. No one is dancing. I mean, yeah, yeah. It do be like that. It really do. And I think we're going to have her do a photo shoot too. Like just by herself. Like, you know, she's minding her own business. She's an independent girl. You didn't even vote. Oh, prom royalty. Okay. Maybe we will do that then. I seriously love how everyone's just sitting and standing around. So should we introduce ourselves to Wolfgang? Yeah, sure. Make some more friends. Why not? I 
feel like she's, you know, pretty sociable. Okay, so she ate some food. Now we're gonna make sure she actually votes for royalty. And for the royalty, maybe Michaela? Yeah, okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and use the photo booth. Oh, wait, the award ceremony starting. She's still gonna go get her photo booth. She don't care. She's like, I want my photos. Yay, okay, so she got her pictures. Honestly, I still wish this was like a classic photo booth type of photo thing. Like, it's cute though. That is cute. But yeah, like, wouldn't you guys love- Oh my god, the music is so loud. Wouldn't you guys love if they really looked like the classic pictures you got from a photo booth? Oh, Michaela won! Oh, we love that! And Jeb! Okay, I guess a lot of people didn't vote. <laughs> okay, I mean, sure. So, let's go ahead and we have to just like talk to someone, so we may as well just talk to Wolfgang again. Oh my god, you're my favorite. Let's do an inside joke. Eat something again. We're supposed to dance, but I feel like she, does, she doesn't want to dance. Okay, that was officially like one of the most lame proms ever. And, oh, after party. I was gonna say, like, where's the after party? Where is it at? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and bring just her friends, I would think. Yeah. I always wish you could bring more sims with you, to be honest, but I know why they do it like that, to like prevent lag and stuff, but like, ugh. Okay, so we're at our after party. I also feel like maybe she'd get close with this girl, too. I'm so conflicted on what to do with Savannah. Like, what do you guys think for real? I want to know if you guys think I should change her preferences. I don't know what I want to do. Like, it's so conflicting. Ooh, I feel like she'd want to go on the haunted ride. So let's ride with and let's ride with Noah. Her bestie. I feel like they do everything together and we have still feeling fine from photo booth. <laughs> Araya might only be emotionally fine, but she is definitely feeling fine. Oh yeah, she has a sore tooth. She needs to go to the dentist. <gasps> Araya will soon have her first period. Oh my god, yeah, she hasn't had her period yet. Aw, she's gonna get her first period, you guys. Stop. Well, that's gonna cause a whole other, um, just, just more chaos to put it simply. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna be having those moves. Oh my god. Now she's cramping and she has a sore tooth. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Should we go on the ferris wheel or no? I mean, I want her to, but she's not feeling that good. So I'm like, do we go over here and just get some food? I know she's not hungry, but like, honestly, I feel like that's exactly what she'd be wanting right now. Or even like a nice drink. Yeah, like, ooh, there's apple spice nog. Let's get that. Why not like apple cider? I would think that they would have that, but I guess not. Okay, so go ahead and enjoy your drink. Hopefully that helps. Oh my god. I feel so freaking bad. Okay, so she came over to chat with her. So let's go ahead. Wait, Ivy Kibo? Whose kid is this? Isn't that... I don't know. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> They're like messing with each other. Okay, discuss intros. I love them. Stop. Oh, I feel like they would be so close to you. Honestly, share photos. Yeah, I definitely feel like they'd be super close. I don't know why. Like the fact that she just came over here, talk about mental health, let's do that a little bit. And then do a knock-knock joke. And we'll do... Ask about woohoo. Because <laughs> she's going to be getting her period soon, you know. Okay, so once she's done that, she's going to head back home. I think in the morning she's definitely going to deal with this tooth pain. I think she kind of just wanted to wait till prom was over, you know, like too much going on. It's 2 a.m. Like we should really get home. Like she's going to get in trouble. Okay, so we're back home. I'm just going to have her like use the bathroom and stuff. Let's see what the other sins are up to. We're back home to the drama household. As you know, you also have a loose tooth. So yeah, um, everyone's just dealing with all that. Can't we? Yeah, let's wiggle it. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, I want to get a picture of you doing that. He is so freaking cute. You guys were saying that he's so precious and I'm so glad you think so. I love him. He's such a little cutie. Oh yeah, you guys. So you guys have been leaving comments like, you know, saying that Jiraiya should have this room. There's been lots of different things. So we could have this be Jiraiya's room. I do feel like Jiraiya, he has a lot of comfort with sharing a room with his sister. I feel like he just doesn't like to sleep alone and he's like the type of kid who would always like run to his parents' room and be like, can I sleep in your bed? And I feel like this really helps him. Like, I just feel like that's the type of character he is. But I feel like maybe in a little bit, he gets like a little bit older, like still a child. We could have this be his bedroom, but for now they just haven't really done anything with it. So comment down below though, if you would prefer this to be like like well first of all a lot of things might happen like once oh my gosh fitness level 10 okay a lot of things might happen once you know wait what is she doing 
once the baby's born. Like, I don't know if they're going to still be living here. If someone's going to get kicked out, like what is going to go on? So yeah, like that's why I don't want to make any big decisions right now. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and change her into her everyday wear. And then I discovered a hidden room in this house, which I've debated if I should just delete it. But then I've also wondered if this, okay, this is a part of their little apartment. And I was like, what? I had no clue. This was up here. No clue because I don't think any of the other ones have like a top floor like this or maybe that one does. I think Esme's up place does and she has it as a like a like a spare bedroom for guests. But yeah, like I was like, wait, what? This is like a whole house up here, like a mini home. And then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe this is where Huxton is gonna be staying for a little bit like you know i would imagine this is just a place in their home that they don't really use and maybe they used to have guests stay up here and they haven't really have guests in a while because it would make sense because there's a suitcase and everything so i feel like that's what's it, what it is intended for you know when people come to have a stay over yeah like you could also have a roommate up here too and maybe that's the whole purpose of it but they haven't needed a roommate you know they're doing fine with money and yeah so this might actually be like perfect because I mean realistically it's gonna be like a long process I don't think he would just suddenly I mean she might kick him out but I don't think it would be brutal like so abrupt like that you know like she already knows something was going on however she now kind of thinks she has nothing to worry about she's just feeling really hurt um so if you guys caught the machinima at the ending if not go back where um esme is getting her ultrasound i tried to make it obvious like very obvious but like you know if, if you weren't just fully fully watching it you may not have noticed but i put text on the screen to make it obvious but because she's a doctor she was the one who gave the ultrasound what are they doing really right now you're gonna go woohoo absolutely right now actually that's what we're doing right now i'm getting you birth control like right now like actually i'm so serious i'm so serious i'm getting condoms because we are not about to get her pregnant but yeah so in the intro it was her giving her the ultrasound i mentioned it in the first episode too but it was like way lighter in the episode and then she said to esme that she's like she apologized to esme for being worried about them and she's like i guess i had nothing to worry about with my husband sorry about that <laughs> and so clearly she did actually have something to worry about but now she kind of feels like she doesn't but of course she's still like she's kind of nervous still because like she did see them flirting and so it's not like she's just like oh it's totally fine now it's just that she thinks esme is in another relationship and like got pregnant with another guy you know what i mean so she's kind of thinking that like Esme's not gonna be bothering them when it comes to their marriage but little does she know that the tables are gonna turn so i don't know what's gonna happen there we're gonna unpack this and it's on auto use so it's it should be good unpack we're gonna have her take a pill okay so i don't know oh did it cancel out they might not even go who now well at least she's on the pill now because honestly like if she was to get pregnant now how? I feel like it'd be so bad. So yeah, like a lot of you guys feel like Avely deserves so much better and she needs to kick him out and you guys feel like there is no changing him, which I agree. Like I, I don't know, like he flirts with people left and right. Like the fact that there's also something going on with marley and i didn't even do this like and she's married like what the what what like i don't know so i just like kept catching him being flirty like randomly not even with esme like other people and yeah to me it's just like super clear why is it four in the morning oh yeah because she was at her party so now everyone's awake at four in the morning like wow love that in my defense i mean she's actually tired and she needs to go to sleep for the night but it looks like well he's tired too everyone get to sleep like you literally have work in three hours like wow well i mean honestly it would make sense for all of their schedules to be kind of messed up right now like if we're being honest there's a lot going on there's a lot of chaos and i feel like actually jariah refused to sleep until araya was home because you know he's kind of scared to sleep alone so i actually yeah i i feel like that makes perfect sense they're always taking these ladders and i don't know if it's more efficient or just ends up taking them longer i don't know because <laughs> they do have serious to get up there but yeah so yeah she's just feeling hurt because of the flirting but she doesn't know there's like so much more than that going on uh unpleasant surroundings there's like a mess and everything let's go ahead and have her clean up a little bit and yeah so he doesn't even know that esme's pregnant so like this is gonna be a process we're not just gonna you know i like it that way because we're doing storytelling here so i don't want it to just be like a thing where 
she kicks him out overnight. You know what I mean? So right now she feels like she has no reason to kick him out. Kind of like, well, you fucked up. You flirted with someone else and I'm not happy with you about that. But if there's nothing else to worry about, like I'm going to give you another chance. Like she thinks the only thing that happened was the flirting that happened like right in front of her, like the mild little flirty interaction, right? So for her, like she's upset, she's disappointed and she feels like kind of insulted, but she doesn't think, see, I'm <laughs> like, she thinks things are going to be all right. Their relationship's so messed up, be literally just because of what she saw at the pool. Like, so that kind of goes to show like how much she gets affected by that sort of thing. So I definitely don't think she'd be able to deal with, you know, a full blown affair. Like, I just don't think she'd be able to deal with that if she found out that he literally slept with her. I think it would destroy her because just, yeah, like, can you, like, hello? I mean, it's getting better now, <laughs> but it's just so bad. Um, just from that, that I can just imagine. However, oh, see, See, I don't know what's going on here. This is what I want to know. I keep having this confess cheating from her side. And I don't know if that's a glitch. Comment down below. Because I've had things happen in the past where, like, I thought of some cheated, but I never saw it. And then you guys were like, oh, like, that, that didn't really happen. Like, it, the, it, it happens in my game, too. Like, it's just, like, a stupid glitch or something. So comment down below. Because I, I don't know what to think about that. But all I know is, like, obviously I was playing off camera, filming clips and stuff for the video and yeah i had to play a bit like even off camera that was not in the machinima clips obviously and i didn't see any flirting happening and i don't think there's any oh oh did they both what the hell is even going on so i guess i don't know if she complimented her i feel like we need to not worry about this and like it doesn't even it's kind of irrelevant like i don't know why they were i guess they were both flirting with her I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. However, I guess like if she was to come over again and she did it more, like then I don't know. But like, I'm sorry, like my storyline's all planned out and I just don't see her as the cheating type at all. So I don't know. I know that a bunch of the Sims were in a flirty mood when they were over here because of him. So I don't know if it had to do with that. We're gonna do an empathy interaction and talk about her fantasies. But yeah, we are not confessing to cheating because I just don't believe that she actually did. I don't know what could have happened, but yeah. So yeah, they're gonna be acting, well, she she's not even acting. He is acting like he's done nothing and everything's fine. She thinks everything's fine now. So we're gonna head into create a sim really fast. So this is what she was supposed to look like. Basically what had happened, I did like, you guys might not notice that much of a difference. I'm gonna pop pictures up on the screen of what she originally looked like when I created her versus what happened when I left Create a Sim for the first time. Like the first time I left Create a Sim after making them and putting them in game. And then I tried to fix the features back to the original and then I would leave Create a Sim and her whole face would reset again. And the same thing was happening with Araya and I couldn't figure out why it was just them because yeah, it seemed like the dudes were fine. And I was like, what is going on? Like, why is that happening? I feel like she looks quite a bit different to you guys, but this is how I originally created her. I want you guys to know that. If they look slightly, like I just showed you guys like a before and after of like what was happening. If the nose is slightly different, it's just because I, ha okay. I had to use a different nose preset and try to make it look as close as I could. So everything else is the same presets. Nothing else was an issue, but the nose preset I was using was by Symbians and it was broken. So I don't know which one it was now, so I really can't tell you guys, but if you recognize the nose, that's in the photo that I popped up, which looks similar to this nose too. I basically tried to find a nose that looked the most similar. So it's not 100%, but it's the best I can do. And yeah, so that nose is broken. And at first I was like, that's really weird. Like that was the last thing I would think. It was even resetting her whole body. Like her whole body changed. And I was like, what? <laughs> it gave her a whole new body type and also Areas too. Literally just because of that nose, changing their whole face, even like the shape of her face changed. Like this is how her face shape was supposed to be and it changed it to like longer or something i don't know it gave her different lips they were still plump lips but they were different lips and i was like what the hell is going on this does not look like my sim so i mean i hope you guys like this version of them better because this is how they're supposed to look and now no presets are broken on them however oh you know what 
It sucks because I could have showed you guys the preset that it actually is if I went into full cast edit mode. But anyways, it's by Symbians. And if you guys see the picture, like I said, I popped on the screen. I feel like the nose is, if you have it in your game, you're going to know. Um, Because yes, I like changed the nose a bit obviously like I gave her the nose preset and like mess with some things but overall like the nose shape looks similar to that when you first click on the preset so I feel like if you do have that preset by Symbians you're gonna know it also on Patreon Symbians's Patreon someone commented on that preset post saying that the preset's broken and when they put it on their sim their sim's whole face reset asking and then asking them if they're going to fix it and that was a year ago and there was no response so i don't think it's going to get fixed sadly what's weird is i'm using one of the noses from that set for another sim like not in this save and never had a problem so i'm like super confused but yeah i've had this happen before with face presets with like another sim like way back i would leave create a sim but i didn't know it was a preset back then but now looking back i'm like oh my god it was just a preset that was broken so anyways yeah <laughs> this is how they're supposed to look they still look the same i didn't like everything was still perfect with them thank goodness so everything is good there but yeah so as you guys can see like araya actually looks a lot like her mom like she got her mom's lips she got her mom's nose and then she got her dad's eyes and like a mix of their skin tone more her dad's skin tone though but like she is like he's like super pale there's just like a little more warmth to her skin but like not by much and then he's kind of like a perfect mix of both of them too I don't know how it'll be when he ages up. I guess we'll have to see. But yeah, Araya has more features from her mom, like as far as her face, like her features. And yeah, so this is what they were supposed to look like all along. <laughs> I just wanted to like clear that up. And I'm now scared to download face presets officially. I'm scared. I I'm not going to be downloading anymore. Instead, I just got the mod. I don't know who created it, but if you just search up Sims 4 more face presets or something, more presets mod, there's a mod that gives you like hundreds of presets all in one mod. And I was like, you know, that's what I'm going to go with. And that's where I found the nose that looks the most similar to the nose I was uh, having on them to the nose I was having on them, to the nose I had on them. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you can probably find like every preset you need. Oh, she looks mad as the hell. But yeah, anyways, I just feel like that mod, if it's going to break, then at least all my presets are by just that mod. Like they're all from that mod. And then I would just have to wait for that mod to be updated. And then all of those presets will be updated all at the same time. So I just felt like that was like the safer way to go about it. Cause yeah, it's really weird how like face presets are breaking. And I mean, when you work hard on a sim, you're like, what the heck? So anyways, he's literally gone to work and nobody slept. She doesn't work for 24 hours though, so she's gonna go the heck to sleep. Ooh, Huxton is attempting to deadlift a new personal best and is achingly close to getting the barbell off the ground, though he usually frowns at other sims who grunt and shriek at the gym. This time Huxton thinks that it might just give him the push he needs. We're gonna scream. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, performance gain small. Okay, we love that. Perfect. So I don't want to mess up everyone's schedule. So I'm going to get her up and she, ooh, she has to go to the dentist. She's starving. Yeah. I feel like she would get up early so she can go to the dentist. So I'm glad she's up then. And we're going to have her uh, just get some leftovers. I thought someone was at the door and then I'm going to throw that away. Oh, we have the money trash can. We should take advantage of that. <laughs> so she's actually not that tired either. I'm going to get her up. Ooh, Avely has contracted an illness. It seems to be mild. It's, oh my God. Esme's calling. Hold on. So much is going on. Oh, hey, Evely. I've been thinking about getting a new job. What do you think? I think she would just say you should follow your heart. Like that's so weird that she's calling her. Okay. So she's contracted an illness. It seems to be a mild case. So she should get rest, drink some orange juice or tea or other home remedies. If it gets any worse, some medicine might be helpful. Oh my God. I must confess you guys, what the hell do I do about this? Like, I don't believe that she cheated. I feel like that's like fucking up. Well, like they got like this thing, but I think it's because like everyone in the room was feeling flirty. Yeah, like I didn't see her actually flirt with her. And then oh, she's feeling severely ill. How come it's saying like, what? Why was it acting like it was just mild? Um, I'm gonna have her go to the doctor, I think. Healthcare services. And then we're gonna have Araya go to the dentist. So go to the doctor and we're just gonna go for like a normal visit. 
Okay, so she's gonna go on her own. And then, yeah, so your tooth is still freaking hurting, girl. She is eating her breakfast. And then, oh, <laughs> no. We're gonna go ahead and go to dental services. And we're gonna get a dentist appointment for Araya. We could also have Jiraiya go too. Yeah, it's Sunday. We can go. Okay, so we're gonna go to the appointment now. And we don't have school, but sure, we're gonna go with you as well. Okay, so they're both gonna go to the dentist together. See, I feel like they do everything together and I just feel like it's so adorable. Oh, he didn't get to eat first. I feel so bad. Okay, so it says the visit went well. I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, okay, so her teeth seemed a little sensitive. The dentist recommends a sensitive toothpaste and a good mouthwash to help with that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that for her. I thought there was gonna be a bigger issue, but I guess not. So because she's sick, we're going to have her get some orange juice. And who the heck is at the door? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and invite in. Oh, wait, what? It says his appointment's been scheduled, but he hasn't gone? Should I have him, like, actually go? I'm so confused. Really, I wouldn't have him go on his own, but, like, I'm only doing that because he was supposed to go with his sister. But then it seemed like he just, like, I think it was just that he, like, went with her as company. You know what I mean? So now he's, like, actually getting his teeth checked, I guess. Oh, no. Araya doesn't know. Oh, my gosh. Text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back. Let's see. Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. I don't know. That could be good or bad. It depends. Anyways, what did that say? Araya doesn't know why she keeps going back. The dentist always manages to make her mouth hurt worse than when she came. Oh, no. And now she has anxious. She is going to be so close to getting her period. Oh, my God. Poor girl. Honestly, the household is pretty peaceful when, um... Huxton is at work, so yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know why the landlord is here, honestly. I really don't. She probably would be smoking some weed right now. Like, she has just been dealing with this, and I feel like she's just, like, so annoyed. But we're gonna have her go on the phone, and oh. Oh, his teeth seem sensitive, too. Okay. So let's do this then. So go ahead and go to dental services and we're going to get some dental supplies and we're going to do the sensitive toothpaste and then we're also going to get kids toothpaste. Oh wait, he needs sensitive though. So should he not be using the kids one? I don't really know. Should we get it like just in case? I don't know. Should we get two of this one and then one of this one? I don't know. And then we'll go ahead and do some mouthwash. Should we get Listerine or this one? Uh, we're just gonna get Listerine. We'll get two of that as well. We should have got four, like, for everyone in the house, but honestly, we won't worry about it right now. We are gonna go ahead and have them brush their teeth. So, brush teeth, and then we'll have you use your mouthwash. He's still there, but then once he gets back, we're gonna have him also brush his teeth. Um, oh, he needs one of the toothpaste, so let's go ahead and give him that. Oh, we kind of can't right now. So, let's wait till he's back. Get that all situated. I love this little bathroom over here. So cute. All right, so she's getting herself some mouthwash wash you guys you need the healthcare redux mod and the dental care mod like so good so good so her mouth is all good now and she's just gonna have to deal with oh oh my god i think she caught what her mom has so now you're gonna oh we've been promoted to body uh champion bodybuilder let's go ahead and get you some orange juice oh she's nauseous from her illness you guys we're gonna have to deal with this definitely she might need like some medicine and stuff like she has spots all over her now he is dead tired like literally dead tired but yeah everyone is kind of feeling it like wow we're going through it he's like in the okay now we're on the road to fame and you're back from the dentist everything's looking good we're gonna have him brush his teeth soon and then wait what is this gaggy giggles from local anesthesia jariah can't quite feel his mouth hopefully it wears off soon but other than the strange sensation jariah is feeling pretty good okay cool so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here honestly i feel like we're getting close to when Esme is going to tell Huxton that she's pregnant. That might happen in the next episode. Like, I'm going to be switching over to her household. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But I hope you all enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. In the streets, in the cities